All right, this is the Swamp Metal Mark. After going round and round on the internet trying to figure out if this was a moth or a butterfly, uh, I've settled on the fact that it is a butterfly. Oh, you might be thinking, it's gotta be a moth, it's fuzzy. And I thought the same thing. But the shape of its antenna is a butterfly shape. Butterflies um, spin a pupa of hardened protein, while moths uh, have a silk pupa known as a cocoon. And there's a couple other reasons, but uh, I want to get into the endangered part. So this particular butterfly is just about extinct in Illinois. And part of the reason that it's so rare is that it inhabits an extremely rare type of wetland called a fern. Its caterpillars can only feed on the leaves of swamp thistle and tall thistle, which both grow in ferns. Their last known home in Illinois is Bluff Spring Fen in Elgin, which, as you know, these endangered species that I'm painting are for a, an exhibit at the Elgin Public Museum in Elgin, Illinois. The Peggy Notebart Nature Museum in Chicago worked for six years to perfect the process of breeding the swamp metal mark in their lab in order to reintroduce them to the region. Everyone's hoping that they can avoid predators like dragonflies, spiders, and birds, and live long enough to mate and lay eggs. The butterfly's whole lifespan is only about two weeks. What can you do to help plant native plants in your yard. I'm going to feel like a broken record by the end of this series, but plant native species. For more information, go to the Elgin Public Museum in Lords Park or visit my website, heatherdorscreations.com. I'll have links to more information there. And thanks for watching.